Can you have polycystic ovarian syndrome without having any cysts on your ovaries? Well, if this is one of the things that you have ever wondered about, then keep watching. Hi everyone, I am Samriddhi from Khushio Ki Gunj, a for women, by women NGO where we talk and do sessions on all things women health and empowerment. And today, we're starting our new series, PCOS, a fad, a phase or a condition. Today, we have with us Dr. Gunjan Gupta Govil, leading IVF and fertility specialist from Gunjan IVF World. Hello, Dr. Gunjan. How are you? Hi, Samriddhi. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you so much for coming for this. So actually, we are doing a series. It's called PCOS, a fad, a phase or a condition. Great. So the first thing I want to ask you is, what is exactly PCOS? Well, PCOS is a condition of hormonal imbalance, which affects from young to old from 12 to 45 can be affected pretty common it affects one in five women so almost 20 percent of the population and here there is an increase in the male hormone that is testosterone which leads to variable symptoms thank you so much that's actually quite a large segment of our population because that does make me wonder at times ki, is it pcos is it just a condition that's happening is it something that's actually affecting us is it just a phase of our life is it just a fad because so many friends of mine are just like oh we got diagnosed with PCOS so how do I know like how do I know that I have I have PCOS or I might have PCOS well the symptoms can be variable the most common symptoms encountered are period irregularities the pa- uh, the people normally have either delayed periods and lighter periods but some people can also have periods coming early and heavier as well so basically it is the irregularity in the periods which happens besides that another very common symptoms are due to the increased testosterone or the male hormone levels you have a lot of acne you have facial hair hair on the neck chest tummy upper part of the, basically where you don't want yeah. them uh, and also male pattern baldness we call this androgenic alopecia and besides that there can be increase in weight gain as well obesity but it is not 100% people will have obesity because there is something what we call as lean PCOS in which you have irregular periods you have uh, this all acne and other factors but your weight is in the normal range and the third finding which you detect on ultrasound is multiple cysts in the ovaries might be found so these are few of the symptoms which can be there to variable extent thank you so much for that so guys as you can see there are so many symptoms that can be actually PCOS like it can be weight gain but also if you're not gaining weight you can have thin build PCOS this is so interesting to us so when we started this video i asked you guys a question can we have polycystic ovarian syndrome without even having cysts on our ovaries well before we get into the answer to this question i want to ask everyone to follow like and support both our pages kushyoki gunj as well as adrit gunjan ivf world now let's get into the answer to our question well the answer to your question is that you can actually have pcos without having any cysts in the ovaries. It is one of a common presentation, but it is not a 100% presentation. So you can actually have PCOS, but have no cysts in the ovaries as well. So guys, there you have it. Whether you have cysts on your ovaries or you don't have cysts on your ovaries, it is not a defining factor of whether you have PCOS or don't have PCOS. And like this, we will be answering many more questions in our series. PCOS, a fad, a phase or a condition. So follow for part two and keep watching. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Dr. Gunjan, for joining us today. Thanks, Samriddhi.